So Josh, obviously you're experienced, but you're working with a new position coach, uh, a couple of new coordinators. I mean, how much change has it been for you, or are you having to relearn a lot of things, or you just sort of rolling on? Uh, really just sort of rolling on. Nothing really changed. We kept Coach Leslie, Coach Adai, so we really kept our defense. Same schematic, same calls, same everything for real. With, uh, but with a new coach, you know, new coaches have different ideas. Tweak certain things about your game that they have seen in the past or they see best fit to how they coach. That's really about it. Next question from Jared Seary. Hey, Josh. Uh, curious, I want to know what's it like um, having a guy like Tony Fields come in and just pad that linebacker unit and what do you learn from him, you know, that sort of thing? Uh, Tony's definitely been a, a good help. Besides my talking, I mean, besides talking myself, we really haven't had too much experience in the linebacker room. So he definitely adds three years of experience. He started at Arizona, so definitely more just just more game experiences. Any other questions for Josh? Greg, go ahead. So back to new new coaches a little bit. Coach Coons. So what what's he like? Technically, is he taught you some different things? How's that relationship gone? Uh, Coach Coons is a really good, uh, really good dude. As far as like teaching me things, I really haven't learned much. Is I mean, he really just kind of tweaks what you already have. Like at, at the college level, you really don't learn much more from coaches. You just really kind of go off of what, like what, what, what they best see fit in the system. How they want to tweak certain things, maybe change here and there. Just how you adjust certain things, but as far as learning something completely new, no, you haven't. And now to Kevin Kinder. Josh, you've uh, added a little bit to your name uh, over the off season. Could you tell us a little bit about you know who that's in relationship to? Why you you know decided to do that? You know what went into that decision? Um, basically, we went into it. Right, so my original last name is Chandler, but my uh, my father's side, uh, we're Cape Verdean, Puerto Rican, so. The Semito basically comes from the Cape Verdean Islands outside of the coast of Africa. My grandfather was full Cape Verdean. He changed his last name to Quincy in order to uh, fight and enlist in a World War II, I believe. Uh, but he just never changed it back after the war. So uh, my father, aunt, everybody else has Quincy. I decided to take it back to Semito. So you guys actually have a game this Saturday. Throughout the summer, there was a lot of conjecture you would not get to this point. So, First of all, did you really doubt that you guys would play this fall? And now that it's almost here, what's the feeling? Mm, definitely doubted if we were going to play this fall. A lot of things were uncertain. Practice was uncertain. Lifts were uncertain. So as far as getting to a game, like you couldn't really imagine it. But the the closer and closer we got to it, it's like, dang, like, this really about to happen. The uh, staff did a great job of just making sure we kept the main thing the main thing. That's something we always preach, keeping our focus on playing, not really thinking about what other schools were doing, what else was going on in the country. So, really, I, I feel like we're more prepared than a lot of other teams are just because of the fact that we've always kept that as a goal instead of thinking about everything else. Next 